not a lot happening. Um, made an offer on a player whose salary is, frankly, a bit high, but at the same time, I can absorb it. I mean, I've got 15,000 pounds of wiggle room. It's one of those cases where it's a balancing act between starting some youngsters and having some solid players on the bench or some solid players on the roster to get a good rotation going to where you can make improvements to the squad and get young, your youngsters playing time. That's what's going to help improve them the most. And this is my own freaking fault. Got Kosevsky. Got a boz. Marathi's out for five days. Got Jankalov. And Noski suspended. Kosevsky's knackered, but we'll put him on the bench. Nikolev. Sikarski's injured. We'll train tomorrow. We'll put him on the bench. Vodich up top. Glissick's only good for 45 minutes. We'll put him on the bench. Wilkowski at the attacking mid. Ilyevsky at defensive left. Tisevsky on the bench to be the replacement at the left. Ristoff on the bench to be a replacement at midfielder right. Davidovsky as the central mid. Masevsky as one center back. Bosco Piev on the bench. Amini on the bench. Orifi. Baj. That is what we're going to go with. Part of me says we should have no problem with this team. They're from an obviously smaller league. The quality of players they have probably isn't as great, but at the same time, I don't want to get my hopes up too high. Bodic feeds a boss. A boss holds it up, turns around. Davidsky, Velosky hits the crossbar. Koka jumps up and grabs the ball before my players can get to it. You know, we're going to go attacking. Davidovsky to a Boz. Boz to Baj. Nikolev. Long. Wow, Koka. Very nice stop. Arifi with the header from the near post. His first goal of the season. Well done. That was nice. Abaz puts it right where Arifi can hit it, and he hits it far corner. Bilkovsky to Nikolev. Up to Vodic. Over to Davidovsky. He gives the ball away. Luigi back to Koka. Dwelling on the ball before bombing it forward. Arifi heads it down. Davidovsky. Bodic to Nikolev. Velkovsky got between the defenders. Hits the post. Bounces off Koka. Koka ends up sending it forward. Goes right to Arifi and the highlight ends. Koka again bombs it forward. Ilevsky to Vaj. Out to Abaz. Abaz sends it in. Vaj is there. Wide right. Lucas to Uva, to Lopez. Back to Uva, Aloy, to Uva, Martinez. Aloy, back to Uva, back to Lucas. And they're just playing keep away. The ball is, okay, now they send it all the way back to Coca, who's just going to bomb it forward. Luigi's there, but it's headed down to uh, Davidovsky, gets it, a boz. Breaks left. Cuts back inside. Top of the box. Takes a shot. Skies it high and right. We're absolutely dominating them. But I feel like we should have one more goal. Davidovsky. 
Olevsky, Vaj, back to Masevsky, Olevsky, back and forth, Vaj to Masevsky, Vaj over to Nikolev, back to Arifi, Arifi to Nikolev, out to Jankalov on the left, on the right rather, Jankalov, holds it up, Bukowski, Jankalov sends it in, Vodic is there, but a nice defensive play by the Santa Coloma defender there. Corner kick, a Boz sends it in again. A Reefy can't get ahead on it, but a Boz should run this down. And that is halftime. 20 shots, five on target. They've had none and none. Koka sends the goal kick forward. A Reefy heads it down to Vodic. Back to Vaj, out to a Boz on the left. He holds it up, centers it to Davidovsky. He takes a shot and skies it high and right. What is with these? I have worked the ball into the box. What is with these long distance shots? Luigi to Martinez off the header from the throw in. Martinez skirts around and hits it high and left. 61 minutes in, they're just saying a Vaz is having a. He's knackered, so. We'll bring on a Mini in for a Boz. Anyone else getting close? Belkovsky, but we'll hold off on him just for a minute. Amini. So there's an end. Reefy is there, and he heads it down to Vodic, who gets his third goal of the season. Off the volley. Colombo players didn't look like the, uh, the uh, Santa Colombo players looked like they didn't even move. And they really didn't. They didn't have anybody far post. The guy far post looked like he came in. That was interesting. Lopez. Back to Saju. Felipe, Martinez, back to Saju, Felipe, across the field, knocked away, knocked down, Aloy ends up with it, gets it back to Martinez, he breaks right, tries crossing it in, knocked away, Olevsky, bombs it forward, Vodic, out to Amini, Amini gets by the defender, the defender holds him up, Davidovsky. Mavadic. Oh, that would have been a brilliant shot, but he skied it. Okay, Volkovsky needs to come off now. Bring on Ristoff. Baj to Amini. Drops it off to Nikolev. Nikolev to Volkovsky. Out to Jankov. Jankolov, rather. Jankolov to Nikolev. Volkovsky. Back to Jankolov. Unopposed. Gets it back to Nikolov. Nikolov gives the ball away to Brunez. Bomb forward. Given away. Olevsky. Up into the crowd. Vodic is there and he scores. Was he offsides? He was not. Are they saying he was? They're saying he was. Okay. Olevsky on the throw-in. Davidovsky, back to Olevsky. Olevsky to Vaj. Vaj, back to Masevsky. Masevsky to Olevsky. Vaj. Davidovsky, top of the box, and he scores. His first goal of the season. That was nice. 20 yards out, a curling shot into the upper right corner. Well done. That was nice. And that is a game. Wow, 36 shots. Only nine on target, though. Two woodwork hits, three clear cut chances, seven half chances. Dominated possession. Dominated passing. Won all of our tackles. We're better in the air. That was a very good one for us. Now, what I have to remember to do. Let's go into my tactics and clear everything out. And that way, my assistant coach, who coaches my friendlies, will pick the players who best suit the position and are healthiest. So knock on wood, players like Vodic and that shouldn't be playing again. The boss had a really good game. 49,000 for Zoran Matevsky. You can take that. 
no, we're not going to do that. Because the guy I'm bringing in, I got on a free. So we've got Olympiacos coming up next. They have the draw for who we're going to play if we beat Santa Coloma. Once this goes through here, I will show you that. Looks like I'm going to have to go into the squad and say under 18s only. Free pick. Okay. And Glissick is coming off the injury, so he is okay to play. Uh, let's go to the schedule here real quick. Um, Euro Cup 2 Championship Rounds. So we are playing Santa Coloma. We're going to play either Hammerin or... Well, it looks like we're going to play Trepsia from the Kosovan First League Group A. So we've got our friendly against Olympiacos. And then we will come back with our with our home leg rather against FC Santa Coloma in just a bit. Olympiacos, Olympiacos thumped us, but that's to be expected when you're playing a group of under 18 year olds and there's no one else. Well, I mean Glissick was there. And that was about it. But we got a little bit of money off of that because they traveled to our place. They didn't bring a lot of fans, but I'm okay with that. So today we've got Santa Coloma in the home part of our Euro Cup 2 Championship Path League qualifying. It's a whole thing. I can't remember it off the top of my head. And honestly, if we had had this squad against Budiknost, I would have really liked our chances. It's Gusevsky and Gold, Sikarski, Olevsky, Andonovsky, and Jankalov as a defensive back forward. Misevsky is the defensive mid behind Marati and Nikolev. We just signed Marati to a new two-year contract. Abaz and Velkovsky as the attacking midfielders and Bodic up top as the strikers. Wow, Eljif Elmas moved to RB Leipzig for 34 and a half million pounds from Napoli. He is probably one of the best Macedonian players in the game. He's a winger. He's got solid physicals, solid mentals, good technicals. 17 passing. Good gracious. Where did he come from? He started out at Rabinicki, I believe. Yeah. He went to Fenerbahce. 124 games at Napoli, but only eight goals. Something tells me he wasn't a full-time starter there. Oh, he was. Okay. Well, he wasn't really. 10 appearances, 23 off the bench, and then last season, 32 appearances, 5 off the bench. So yeah, he made his mark there and then moved to RB Leipzig for big money. And Italy got a decent return on their investment, too. I do have to admit, having so many tournaments is a godsend for smaller clubs and smaller leagues. If only because, even if you don't go far, the money you do get adds up after a while. We got 84,000 pounds for losing in our first, you know, in our first round match last time. If we lose here, what's another 84,000 pounds? It's 168,000 pounds. That can go a long way. You know, every little bit helps, especially if you're a club that, you know, if you're semi-pro or you're from a small league, like we kind of are, and you don't have a TV deal. And then even going forward in the next round, if we win this and we get to the next round and we lose there, that's another 84,000 pounds. That's 234,000 pounds. That's half our debt. And Anoski misses the header off the set piece. Don't know what happened there. Somebody got fouled. Looks like Masevsky's going to take the penalty. Oh, nice. Keeper chose correctly. He was just a little late. Masevsky's first goal of the season. I really wish we were getting more fans in. I'm going to have to look at the... Yeah, the attendance is 7,400. That's not bad, but it could be better. Levski heads it down to Marathi. Abaz. Cuts out Velkowski. Got, got... Oh! Velkowski cut inside, but hit it just wide right. Abaz from distance. <sighs> A lot of missed chances. That's okay. Andonovsky. To Nikolov. Velkovsky. Back to Jankolov. He crosses into Marathi's there, but he hits it right at Coca. Coca holds the ball up. 
Golevsky heads it down to Nikolev. Over to Vilkovsky. Vilkovsky breaks out wide. Crosses it in. Abaz is there, but the ball goes past. Sikarski back to Abaz, and he skies his shot. Holy cow, people, come on. This is not American football. You do not get a point if you kick it between the crossbar like that. You know, we'll go down to positive. Maybe the guys are pressing too much. Now, Boz, it's at 60%. He picked up a knock. It's coming back. That's really interesting. Halftime, we are up 1-0 thanks to the Misevsky penalty kick. I wouldn't say we actually blew them away, but in that case, I will, I will go with what my assistant recommends. Lopez bombs it forward. Ilyevsky. Marathi out to a Boz. Bodic. He's Nikolev. Vilkovsky's there, and he kicks it just wide left. Abaz. And Donovsky's there with the header. His first goal of the season. Nice. Another set-piece goal. We've been doing really well with set-pieces. This save. A lot of set-piece goals. I'm quite happy with that. And there's nothing really special about this routine. You know, it's it's the near post routine that everybody's doing. Kick it to the, put your tall guy in the near post, kick it to him. Ananovsky, Jankilev, Vilkovsky. Back to Nikolev. Long pass, Vodich. Oh, what a shot. Holy cow. That was some matrixy karate kid stuff going on there. Abaz is injured. I'm going to have to take him off. Volleyed it in from the top of the box. That just may be the goal of the season already. Okay, we'll bring on a mini for Abaz. That should happen here. Masevsky to Vodic. Vilkovsky. No, ball's intercepted. Sajus just kicks it away. And Anofsky's going to run it down. Oruolevsky. Masevsky. Nikolev. Out to Vilkovsky. Jenkolov. Driving forward. Back to Nikolev. Nikolev to Masevsky. To Marathi. Amini. Goes outside. Cuts back in. Centers at Vodic's there. His second goal of the game. Coming up on 60 minutes, we're going to make a couple changes here. Well, probably at least one. We'll, we'll watch the replay here. Marathi to Amini. He breaks out wide. Pulls the defenders away. Vodic is right there. The one defender came off of him. They got too far forward. Left Vodic wide open. He had a defender on his back foot, but he wasn't going to be able to stop anything. So we need to get Marathi off. Um, bring Andonofsky up. Bring on Arifi. Bring on Vaj for uh, Misevsky. 31 shots, 13 on target, an XG of 4.5. They've had one shot. Bokovsky, knocked away by Martinez. Amini, chests the ball down, gives it to Arifi. Nikolev, feeds Velkovsky. Pass was a bit too hard. And Dovsky there, but Coco with a very nice save. Don't know if that was self-defense, but... Well, it looked like more than more self-defense than a save, but he did stop it. Amini and Donovsky. Back to Sikarski. Over to Lyovsky. Amini centers it to Nikolev. He feeds Velkovsky. Velkovsky takes a shot. He pushes it wide left. Coco. Bangs it forward. Aaron's there. Arifi ends up with the ball. A little bit of back and forth. He gets it to Olevsky. Andonovsky over to Amini. Up into space. Vodic stopped running. Or he didn't start running even to get there. Koka knocks it away. Headed down. Amini ends up with it. Fights the ball away from Aloy. He goes left. Vodic is there, but he volleys it into the crowd. Probably would be better off trying a header.
Well, it's been utter dominance these two games. We're going to go through 7 0 on aggregate. Vaj to Andonovsky. Back to Vaj. Nikolev. Out to Jankalov. Floater in. Vodish is there. Hits the crossbar. Goes over. Let's play the game. Nikolev. Vodich. Oh, a nice save by Koka. Denying him his hat trick. And that is the match. 4 0 in this game. 7 0 on aggregate. 41 shots, 18 on target. Well done. Continue. Let's see who we're playing next. Save a game here, real quick. Beshkat has 192 on aggregate. Received 84,000 euros. And win the second. Champions Path second qualifying. Holy cow. Some of these stages are just. The interesting thing is that we're still in the preseason. The league hasn't even started yet. So we're playing Trepkia. Trepsia. Trepsia? They are a Kosovan club. Professional. And we're literally playing them next in seven days. And then the league kicks off as well with Skandija. So, our Euro Cup 2 games continue. What stage is that? That is first qualifying round. No, it's not. It's third qualifying round. So, we are right here. And if we win, we go to the fourth qualifying round, and then to the group stage if we win that. So, who... Uh, we'd be playing Doodle Ange or the New Saints. Holy cow. That could be interesting. Okay. Well, that is what we were going to do then. So, a couple of really good games. Santa Coloma was not the best squad, and it showed. The, their keeper had some nice saves. But, yeah, it was just... And you could really tell, especially in the second game, when I had all my good players back from injury. I think if we had fielded that squad against Budak Nos, we would have had a, a, at least a good chance of beating them. So that just goes to show that my lack of squad depth is there and that I need to either bring in players to make up for it or I need to develop the youth players to, to be on the bench and take the place of these guys when they do get injured and when they do move on. And that's what we're going to be working on this season. So a couple of really good games for us, a couple of really good wins for us. If you did like what you've seen and heard, please like, subscribe to the channel for more content, questions, criticisms, comments, leave those down below. I will answer those as fast as I can. My name is FM Jellico. I thank you for watching.